Hey guys, today we are going to be going over the throw and land transition where you throw your clothes and then you land with a new outfit. This one is a great transition with a fun twist where you can show off your outfit or other things like products. Now if you aren't too familiar with cloning yet, I do recommend you checking out this video for a more in-depth breakdown afterwards. So with that being said, let's go film! Okay, so I have the first outfit over here and I'm just going to have this piece from the second fit that I want and then throw it over to the other side. So this is the part where you want to do your skit or your dance and then throw the piece of clothing doing it a couple of times. Aim for the same place when you throw and once you feel comfortable, mark the spot of the second fit in your head or if you can, tape the floor. Make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'll be giving tips and tricks along the way for both filming and editing. Okay, we are now in the same scene but just on the other side, um, so nothing has changed so just don't be intimidated by her, okay? Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without her. So we're starting over here where we have dropped our clothes and we have taped the area so now I know this is where I'm supposed to land. So I'm just gonna put this away. Remember to continue your skit or dance for the first one after you've thrown the fit so you have enough filler footage to play your second clone. Make sure you jump down on the second one for the same reason I emphasized in my last video. I'll also include some variations to try out in the end so make sure you stick around. Okay, I think we got everything that we needed so let's get to editing. Look at that magic. So we are going to start editing in our app. I am going to be using CapCut today. So I've already imported my videos, the one that I want to use and trimmed it and everything. So let's get started with the masking. So I have my two videos over here already. And so I'm going to take this first one and tap on it. We're going to come over here to overlay. And now you can see it's on the bottom layer and I have my other layers on top. All you need is your two clips, the first one on the left side and then the second one on the right side or vice versa. So you can see with this first layer, I'm already standing on one side and I'm ready to throw my clothes to the other side just like that. Now I'm just gonna select this bottom layer and click on mask. Click split and then you see it disappears for a second but don't worry, you're gonna rotate it and have this show one side only. Split it across the middle like that and now you'll see I have my other side here. And now that I can see my second outfit, I want to trim that part where I'm just about to land and have that motion over here. Boom. And then I stand up like this. Okay? Now that I can see this clearly, I want to sort out my masking. So obviously it cuts off the outfit over here, so I want to readjust the mask. So I can see that this is still a good place for it to land. And I think right about here is where I want it to swap into my second outfit. So right about the time that I'm about to land, that's where I want to have that mask. So I'm gonna click this tick. I'm gonna add the keyframe here. And now we can see that my shirt has disappeared and me, the second me has landed, <laughs> okay? Um, so now we want that part to not really disappear before that. So right before that second, I'm just gonna zoom in here on this timeline a little bit. I'm just gonna add one more keyframe here so that I can get rid of the mask. So keyframe here, mask, and just go like this. And I believe this should, there we go. So we have this and then mask right away. So that should flow pretty seamlessly if we just play it like this. If you're still feeling a little bit lost, I definitely recommend checking out this video over here because I go more in depth about how keyframing and masking works. If you did happen to mess up during filming, don't worry because you can always add this effect over here. So I'm gonna come over here to this bottom bar, click effect and click video effect so that if there really is a mistake, you can always use that effect to kind of like cover that part up. And you can see there's a lot of different ones. That's why I really like CapCut because they have a lot of different options for effects. So I'm just gonna go over here to basic and then I'm gonna click shake. So you can see that that effect only affects one of the videos. We don't want the whole video to shake like this, so we can just come over here and then have that shake for a second and then stop. In case we didn't do like a seamless transition, you can just make it really, really, really small. And I personally don't want it to be like super fancy, so I just lowered the intensity and the speed. And now you have that, that kind of earthquake cover up, right? You can actually, honestly, if you turn up the intensity, that might even help. But the thing is, you have to be mindful. If you do turn up the intensity, you can see that the whole thing shifts. So just be wary, but even if it's just for a second, I don't think it's too big a deal. So have that, and then 
just for a second there, a split second. So now it has this dramatic effect, and even if you didn't make a mistake, you can still use these effects to have a more impactful transition. Once you follow these steps, it should look something like this. I've seen a lot of people use this concept in their videos on TikTok and Instagram, and I've even used it in my videos before, like this one over here. And if you're curious to see the behind the scenes of this day, you can check out this video over here. But since you guys are the special beans that stuck around to this point of the video, I'm gonna give you two more variations that you can incorporate into future videos using this whole throw and clone concept, especially because I know that you guys have already liked this video to help me out. But just in case you haven't, just gonna give you a whole moment there. Just like the video. Okay, let's go. <laughs> when you get used to this concept, you can add your own twists. For example, you can throw the piece down and add a stomp. Instead of the jump down that I showed you earlier, you can try jumping up so it looks like you're springing. Another way to do it is instead of stomping, you can throw and snap, and this time you'll twist to stand up, starting with your back facing the camera. Look at that, you have leveled up your wizard skills! Doo, doo, doo. So now you can do a lot of throwing and a lot of cloning, and because I helped you, you should definitely subscribe to this channel so that you can learn all about content creation, editing, tutorials, behind the scenes, and so much more. So with that being said, go create a life that you're proud of. See you next time, bye!